So I'm going to do a test between the 2019 MacBook Pro, um, which is an excellent machine, um, but I've also got now a new MacBook uh, Pro, the new M1 Max, um, just to sort of see the difference. So in terms of the specs, you can see there that the 2019 version, um, 2.3 gigahertz, 8 core Intel i core, uh, sort of core i9, 64 gigabytes of memory. It was a beast of a machine, and it still is. Um, compare that to the new MacBook Pro using the Apple M1 Max, 64 gigabytes as well. So in terms of memory, etc., it's pretty much um, similar specs in terms of memory, etc. But obviously, it's going to be completely different in terms of performance and everything else. Both machines are plugged in, um, so they've all got their full power going. So let's set up a Final Cut profile and let's see how fast this could be. So what I've done to do this test is I have both uh, the exact same files that are uh, on each machine. And as you can see there, I'm going to be exporting them as ProRes, which will generate a HD quality file at it's 20, nearly 26 gigabytes in size. And I've got the same there as well. So it's a ProRes, 26 gigabytes in size. This is for my digital tourism show, episode 264. Uh, episode 264. So I am basically going to hit... Uh, export on both of these uh, pretty much the same time and just sort of see which one uh, becomes faster um, or which one is faster machine so i'm going to start the original mac first um, so hit next on that and i'm going to just save it to the desktop next on that save to the desktop and let's see which one performs better so i'm just going to bring up the progress bars uh, and sort of see so i can already see that the Mac on the right, which is the M1 Mac, is already at 25%. The one on the left is on 7, or, or it's now 10, whereas this one is flying past at 30%. So let's just see how fast this goes. Um, the one on the right, the M1 Max, which obviously should be faster, is way, way faster. I would say it's over twice as fast. Um, so we're now sitting at 16%. On the 2019 MacBook Pro, um, we're sitting on 35%, nearly 36% now, on the M1 Max. So the M1 Max seems to be outperforming it by quite some margin. So we're just going to sit here and uh, watch this go past and see how fast it goes. time check so we're now on the 2019 macbook pro sitting at 24% and on the m1 pro max 62% so way way ahead And now the M1 has completed the video. Um, the video is now uh, ready to be uploaded onto YouTube. Uh, and the 2019 is just at 36, 35% uh, rather. So the, the new M1 Mac has completely outstripped the 2019 MacBook Pro, which was a, a fantastic machine to begin with. But the new M1 chips, especially the M1 Max, which I have in this one, is quite incredible. Um, just for pr productivity, um, getting files out faster, um, it's just going to be night and day. And one thing I have to say is, I don't know if you'll hear this, but on the 2019 you can hear the fans. On the M1 there is absolutely no noise whatsoever. So um, again, absolutely silent and doing a close to 30 gigabyte uh, render or export of uh, Final Cut Pro. So we're still going, um, just got to 40%, whereas the other one was finished. So what we'll do is we'll keep it on, we'll just fast forward the video uh, and see how long uh, this other one takes.
and there we go. That's it finally rendered. Um, as you can see the with the timer, the M1 blows it out of the water by quite some margin. So in terms of productivity, in terms of just getting things done faster, the M1 is one of the best laptops around. Not cheap, but I can't fault how fast uh, the speed is in terms of video editing and any other tasks that take quite a lot of uh, resources. Um, so if you're on the fence, I just thought I'd do a little test. I would highly recommend the new MacBook Pro. Um, I've got the 16 inch version and it's the M1 Max chip.